Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to permanently fix a hardware ID ban on Fortnite. Now, if you didn't know, games like Fortnite, Valorant, and Rust will apply a hardware ID ban on your PC when you get banned from their game. And they do this to stop you from just creating another account and playing their game again. And a lot of the time, this can result in people thinking that they need to buy a whole new computer to be able to play their game again. But don't worry, because in this video, I'm going to be showing you the one and only way to get rid of this hardware ID ban without buying a new PC. So I highly recommend that you stick around and watch at the end so that you know how to get unbanned. But before I start the tutorial, I just want to go over what a hardware ID ban actually is. So a hardware ID ban is basically a really strict ban where the game will actually ban your computer hardware serials from their game. And that means if you try and load into the game on the same PC with these blacklisted hardware serials, then the game will just detect the same person playing and you'll be banned again. So in order to fix this, we basically need to completely change our hardware ID serials, which I'll be showing you how to do in this video. Now I know you guys just want to get unbanned, so I'm going to be getting straight into the tutorial right now. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is come into the bottom left here where you can see the Windows icon. You want to click on settings and then you want to go into privacy. And you first just want to make sure that all four of these options are unticked. And once you've done that, we are now able to move on to the actual steps of getting unbanned. So now you want to go into the description of this video and click on the link to our website. And once you get to the website, you want to just scroll down until you see the permanent spoofer. And you will even need to get the one day or the lifetime license. And the reason I recommend this spoofer so much is because first of all it works on all motherboards which means no matter what computer you have it will work for you. And the company you're buying it from also just has a really good support system so if you ever need help then you are able to just ask. But I'm going to be continuing this tutorial as if you have just purchased the spoofer. So upon purchasing you will receive a download and a license key and along with that you will receive a tutorial of how to use it. But the first thing you want to do is just drag the loader onto your desktop. From there you want to open it up and you will see a folder and an application. So the first thing you want to do is just go ahead and double click the application to open it. And now that it's open you can see that it's prompting me to put in my license key. From here you just want to make sure that you enter the license key that you were given on purchase. And since I don't want anyone else using my license key I'm going to be blurring my key out of the video. But just make sure that once you've entered your key you click sign in. And now, as you can see, we are on the actual spoofing menu. Now, this may look a little bit complicated, but don't worry, just stick with me. I'm going to be showing you exactly what you need to do. So, the first thing you want to do is come over to the cleaner tab here. And what this is going to do is it's going to remove all of the Fortnite ban files from our PC. And this is going to stop Fortnite from being able to track us by using the old files we had. And by the way, if you want to get unbanned from a game and you don't see it on this cleaning screen, then do not worry, you just need to download a software called Revo Uninstaller and uninstall and then reinstall the game using that. And I will leave a link in the description to Revo and Installer if you want to use that. But for Fortnite, what you want to do is make sure that at least Fortnite Clean is activated. Click Save Config and then click Clean. Now since I'm not banned from Fortnite right now, I'm not going to be using the Clean. But just make sure that you do this when you are getting unbanned. So once you've done that, just head over to the Device tab at the top here. And from here, just click the Check Serials button. And as you can see on the left of my screen, it is showing all of my current hard ready serial numbers. And by the way, if you're wondering why all of these say changed on the right, that is because I do have the spoofer activated right now, but I am going to still be spoofing my serials again and you will see them change. And to do that, just come over into the spoofer tab at the top here. And from here, the first thing you want to do is change your seed address and that's as easy as clicking this button right here. And success, your seed address has been changed. And now what you want to do is click on this driver spoof button here. Make sure you click the regular mode at the bottom here. Select your motherboard from this drop down menu and if you don't see it here then select other and then click spoof. Alright and as you can see the spoof has just finished so I'm going to be coming back into the device tab at the top here. As you can see it's saying spoofing has ended to review your serials please reopen the loader so I'm going to do that right now and we will check our serials. Alright, so I've just come back into the device tab here and you can see already all of them now say changed. But I'm going to be clicking the check serials button here so you can see the actual serial numbers that have been changed. Alright, so on the right we have our new serials as you can see spoofed hardware ID and on the left is our original serials as you can see original hardware ID. So you can go back in the video if you want but these serials on the left here are the serials from before the spoof and the ones on the right are the ones from after. So as you can see, literally every single serial number on here has changed. And this is good. This basically means that we've been successfully unbanned from whatever game you are hard ready banned on. And you'll be able to go straight back in that game, make a new account and play again. And I really hope this helped you guys get unbanned. Make sure to leave a comment below on why you were banned. 
and thank you for watching and have a great day